back and completes the double play. Why are you running on a home run? Bad idea. Uh, Yankees win. They're two up on the Orioles. Uh, they have a 99% oh, chance of making the play. The Orioles isn't who they need to worry about. It's a team that sounds like the Orioles. Show me the next one, Wilds. Wonderful. <laughs> Royals yes. do not necessarily sound like Orioles. Oh, they sound enough like it. Sally, bang, bang. Sally down. Okay. Hit another home run uh, uh, earlier in the game, and this was a grand slam. The Royals are now one game behind the Guardians, and they are firmly in the wild card, worst case scenario. Swept the doubleheader, and we are going to stalk down the Guardians. I cannot wait. Salvi ties George Brett for most multi home run games in Royals history. George Bang. Brett. Uh, <laughs> program. Wonderful Atlanta, Indiana. Caitlin misses one, then hits a deep one. On Very stiff light. Seven in seven for Caitlin. I watched that game, too. Uh, Fever's playing well. They've been, yeah. Offense, cool. Now that they're they not really playing, playing well. nine times a week. They, and she <laughs> is balling. <laughs> true. No, uh, it's true, though. She's been great. Final weird, uh, Cubs Pirates out of hand, so Roddy Tell is in. in, in, is in. Oh! Ump is like, man, let's just get this over with. This, the guy's got 50. He's like, that'll strike like, yeah, let's go home. Uh, Cubs win, <laughs> and that's uh, weird and wonderful from the national pastimes. <laughs> Cowboys wow. are cooking. Dalvin cooking. Josh! I, he looks good. No puns. Tom Pelissero reporting that healthy and rejuvenated Dalvin Cook. Um, Brew's guy. Met with the Cowboys. <laughs> Brew, you love Dalvin Cook. Love Dalvin Cook. Loved him. Yelled it. And here's an exact quote from last year when I doubted he would have an impact with the Jets. You don't like Dalvin Cook? At that octave. <laughs> yeah, 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 he was, he was aghast. <laughs> That I okay. And, and Nick is trying because Nick is so upset what, I'm not that upset we anything. put Trey Lance on him well, yesterday, that was, and he tried that, to run I from Trey to run Lance from being his guy. That now he's trying to put no, Dalvin I'm just, Cook on. I'm just okay. saying you love Dalvin no. Cook, and now oh, he's fresh. Here's what happened a uh -huh. year ago. Uh -huh. Dalvin Cook coming off four 1,000-yard seasons. Yeah. I said, hey. Don't write the guy off. No. No. Okay. Sure. That, don't write the guy <laughs> off. Right. Uh -huh. He went to the Jets. Yeah. It was horrible. All right. Couldn't do anything. Well, but now he's rested. He also was in. Well, had a little cup of coffee with the uh, yeah, Ravens. He, he did. He hardly and, played. And, yeah. Very little. And was but, was the, well, very the Ravens short. don't love to run the ball. Uh -huh. <laughs> um. No. Look. I, First of all, I, look at this. You guys are putting this on me. That this should be. Like, I mean, that's this in the playoffs, be yet right? Another yeah. Victory lap for Brew. What do you mean? I told you the Cowboys running back wasn't going to be on no, the roster what yet. What you told me is that Rico Dowell, no. Deuce Vaughn, no. maybe somebody's getting a thousand yeah, yards no, for the yes. Cowboys. And I stand and by. And Jerry it. Jones and Stephen yeah. Jones have looked at the roster and said, you know what? Brew's right. None no, of these I, dudes I, are doing it. No, that's <laughs> so they're going out and getting down <laughs> because he's 29 years old. Real quick, because you will <laughs> attest to this. What I said was that the lead running back for the Cowboys is probably not on their team yet. And now I don't think it's going to be him. I, I think it's going to be someone who's cut today. I do. Like I, And he's going to get a and, and he's going to be the best no, rusher I, on the Cowboys. I, I said that the Cowboys that the Cowboys rushing production this coming season will be the equivalent to what it was last season. That's what I'm saying. I don't think I don't know if one guy's going to get as many carries as Tony Pollard does. By the way, I do have a name for you. Seems very Cowboys-esque. Because, you know, it's got cut today by a team that maybe had a little too crowded of a running back room in Buffalo. Carson Steele? No. He would never be cut. <laughs> Give me a break. He is the best fullback in football. Michael Slot 2.0. Um, Frank Gore Jr. No. <laughs> and I could. I if like there, I, I think more than one team might put in a waiver claim <laughs> on Frank Gore Jr. But I would imagine Jerry Jones is going to be the front of that line. Yes. The, here's the point that I would make. You know who's going to be in front of the line? Okay. Stephen Jones. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> um... I, the Cowboys last year were 16th in yards per carry, 15th in rushing touchdowns, 14th in rushing yards, and first in points in the whole league by a lot. Last year, they were the definition of an average running offense. This year, even if they're just a touch worse than that, they're not going to fall off. They're going to, Tony Pollard was not very good last year. They are going to be able to duplicate their offensive rushing production in the, to use the money ball term, in the aggregate. And so that's why I, I listen, I don't think it's Dalvin Cook because I haven't thought Dalvin Cook's good for a few years. But I think they're going to be fine. This is not their big concern. Yeah, look, <clears throat> for me, this is going to be running back by committee. You, yeah. it, it, the writing is on the wall. Like, you're not going to find that guy that's going to be Frank the Wilson. heavy load carer of this team rushing the football. You're basically saying, and you've subscribed to, look, we got to find three guys that we can, we can just run with. Yeah. And I think if, if Dalvin Cook is to work out, I think that's a good 
a change up for what they are doing. But I also think when you watch the Cowboys, what Mike McCarthy started doing in Green Bay with some of his receivers, uh, putting them in the backfield. We saw that with CeeDee Lamb a couple times. Like we, You're going to see Turpine. You're going to see CeeDee Lamb carry the ball a little bit more, getting the ball in their hands. I, I know you look like, well, they you don't want to get them They said Lamb's going to get the ball 15 look, times a game. You're going to find a way to get the ball in these guys' hands to where you become an extension of the run, even though you're not handing it off to a running back. I don't think they're going to find the answer, to be honest. Even with guys being cut, you might find a diamond in the rough. Uh, you're hoping that somebody can give you four, four point two, four point three yeah, which, yards. Which, by the way, carry. by the way, last year the Cowboys averaged four point one yards per carry. Last year the Cowboys had fourteen rushing touchdowns. Yeah. Last year the Cowboys had hundred and twelve rushing yards as a team per game, and they scored the most points in the entire NFL by a mile. Like I do, I, Brew. Last year there were hundred and twelve rushing yards per game. I think next year they'll be at at least 100. You just got to like, be effective I just when think, you decide yeah, to run the I ball. I just don't think this is a big deal. I think you are wildly undervaluing Tony Pollard. Okay. And I know he wasn't great as great last year as he had been in his career. He missed Zeke. And I said they should have brought back Zeke just for that thunder well, lightning. Well, luckily they did now. Duo. So now they have the, the, the Yeah, the but they don't have, have the Zeke. lightning. Well, and the, it's not Dalvin blinding. Cook, and it's not Rico Dowdle. What about Deuce Vaughn? I was just about to say. No. <laughs> yeah, Deuce Vaughn. Deuce don't have Lamar. Trey Lance. Lamar's being disrespected, and I'm going to address it. <laughs> wow. Yeah.